there is a um, little ceremony on Saturday evening as the Sabbath is ending called Havdalah. And um, for many years, we've had student rabbis come from Hebrew Union College in Cincinnati to lead our congregation in uh, monthly um, Shabbat services and gatherings. And at the time, we used to have gatherings in a person's home, a member of the congregation. Um, and the ceremony involved um, a little bit of singing, um, a little bit of smelling the uh, fragrances of spices. And at the end of the ceremony, we'd go around the group and say, what was good for us in the past week or what are we looking for in the next week to come? And so we basically described certain things, were mostly mundane. But when it came Max's turn, he started telling about his Holocaust experience. He just started opening up and telling his memories. And more of us were pretty much taken off our guard because we were expecting something mild and here was something very deep, serious, um, life-changing for Max. And that he had previously kept quiet about this, but somehow in that particular setting, at that particular moment, he wanted to tell us his experiences and his story. And I think from that point on, Max was more open in talking to people about his experience being in concentration camps and losing many members of his family.